All right, it's about 10 past six on our way to Sydney, uh, playing away against Adelaide this weekend. Got about a two and a half hour drive ahead of us to get to the airport, and then we're flying out, I think at about 10.30 to Adelaide. Hopefully we'll have a bit of time to rest up before the game. Hopefully our flight isn't delayed, like all of the flights around the league have been delayed and canceled like over the last few weeks, like both in the PHL and the AHL. Let's go get on the freeway and um, get this road trip underway. Three days later. Three weeks later. Now that all electronic devices are set into the flight mode operation for our departure, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, now, ladies and gentlemen, if you could return to your seats, remain seated. Six and a half hours later. Matus Trinka is done. He uh, Adelaide are going to have to pick it up and put their trust in Curtis Villani, who will do the job, and uh, they'll be able to resettle and see how they go. Awkward shot and a big rebound scores! Adelaide responds! Just like that, it's a 1-1 game! A big go. rebound in the middle of the ice, and it was banked home by Zach Steele. No level before, as Corson's enters the zone, he finds Riley. Riley on the backhand, down low, rebound in the slot. Adelaide couldn't bank that away. Vincent. Enters the zone, walks out wide, circles again behind the goal, and Adelaide will try to get set up with a minute to go on the power play, tipped down in front, scores! Joey Quebec, Adelaide's leading goal scorer, has got another. Zone entry, carrying the puck around, just a heads-up play, nice little backdoor pass. Adelaide grinding away in the corner, and there's Benson scooping this out again, walking out front. He's Darren Corstens, walks in the zone, dangles around one, Corstens in tight, oh my goodness, scores! Dazzle from the captain. It's 3 1. Just, uh, just to take the moment through the legs and a nice little rebound popped in by Riley. Uh, that is confidence right there. Uh, and that was simply from a small turnover, a bobbled puck. He's capitalized and uh, he's taken a risk through the legs. And Looking for best. Best dangles around one. He's got space. Fires one in front of the face of the goal. Rebound in tight. And Tom Monroe, who's going to have to have a big stretch of hockey, makes a couple key saves in that last sequence. Speed with control. Enters the zone. Fires one over at Tom Monroe. So strong over the last four or five weeks. Woodman going coast to coast. In behind the defense. Then Tom Monroe makes a good save on Jamie Woodman. Down at the half line. Corsten stops. Swivels. Gets 
it to the point for Alakoski. Alakoski creates a shooting lane, then finds Andrew Chen. Chen tried to strategically place it down low, but Monroe was up to the challenge. Back to it. Alakoski turning away. Centering play. Benson in the slot. Great save from Tom Monroe. The puck bounced a mile high into the air and bounced down on the stick. As Jamie Woodman through the point, another nice save from Tom Monroe. Monroe taking over these last few minutes for the coast. Off the draw, though, Jake Riley will go up the wing. And Riley trying to get around Costa, and he does. Riley short in and scores! Riley burns around Costa. Almost like deja vu from last week uh, on the shorthanded goal by Jake Riley, and you cannot leave him to jump on an open puck like that. His speed is amazing and a great finish there. Just well, intent. Right there on your screen is two of the most exciting players in Australian ice hockey, Kale Costa and Jake Riley. And Costa's already scored this game, but Riley won that battle. Yeah, he did, and that's just pure intent around the puck. Nice low blocker. Two on one, and Kale Costa's there with Ruth. Costa cutting towards the middle of the ice. Costa through traffic. Rebound in front. Villani diving over off the post again. The fourth post from the coast. Villani was down and out. And he's going to keep the puck out of the net by any means necessary. Just those hour and a half games. As Benson in tight. Takes the puck away. Lash, what a save. Tom Monroe. Oh, my goodness. He was out of position. Backhand this. Looking for Goris. Under a minute to play. Adelaide with the only goal of this period. They scored the last forward, make it five. Sack attack. He's got a rocket, and it was just launched to the back of the net. It's 5-1. And capitalize. Oh, one time a shot. Wings hockey players that I'm sure would be loving this moment for their goalie. Alexi Alakoski centering players. A nice pass to Tom Sack, who's already got a goal today. Powell to Sack. Sack centering play to Andrew Chen. Chen creates some space. Good save getting the glove down low from Tom Monroe. Adelaide's already won the season series. Costa fires a shot down low. It's a pad save once again from Volani. Now awkward spot down low. Volani, what a save. Curtis Volani. See best. Long pass ahead. Alakoski behind the defense. Dishes it off. Fires a shot at Tom Monroe. And the coast will chip it off the boards. Goes back to the point for Kale Costa. Costa turns away. Costa in tight. Walks in. Villani gets down. Two big saves from Curtis Villani. And heads up play. Um, nice hard shot. And, and, you know, obviously great save by Curtis. But that just shows how dangerous Kale Costa can be. All right, first uh, game of the doubleheader road trip against Adelaide, 5-1 uh, loss. I didn't feel like I played too badly. I felt like there was a couple of tricky situations that I found myself in. Probably the three the three goals in the first period, they were pretty hard goals, like um, making the first save, and then as soon as the rebound comes out, it's on another guy's stick and he's just putting it straight back in, um, not really having the time to react to the second shot, um, just because, because the guy's you know, right there. The first and the third goal were pretty much the same. Made the first save, and then um, they had a guy following up, and just um, as soon as the puck was out, threw it back in. That first goal was a tip on the first shot, so it was a little bit harder to deal with as far as the rebound, and it just came straight back out. Second goal was, I think it was on the PK. They put the puck through the seam. It's one of those ones that's kind of frustrating because you beat the pass there, um, and usually on that kind of play, that'd be like a one-timer or something like that. Like they'd be trying to beat you to the post most times. Third goal, got around our D, ended up uh, kind of on my blocker side, coming through like a one on oh kind of thing and put the puck back between his legs to do like a between the legs roof kind of thing. But then they had a, um, a second guy which is coming straight in behind him and um, 
just as fast as I'd, I'd, I'd made the save and it hit my pad, uh, the other guy was just coming straight through and, um, and put it in um, over me. They can be tough uh, because I felt like I was playing really well and then you kind of find yourself in pretty tough situations. You know, maybe I'm you know, not controlling my rebounds as well as I need to or I'm not getting reset off the initial shot or tracking my rebound off the initial shot enough to be able to get that quick second shot. But it's it's just part of playing, you know, like it's a team sport. Um, you know, there's definitely goals that I let in that I shouldn't. And um, you know, it's 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 the same every way. Everybody's, everybody's doing everything they can. And like, they're a good team. They're, you know, they're the ones that are following up on the plays and getting it done. So um, they were just working hard for all their goals. And, um, and yeah, they got those ones through. Fourth goal rather, uh, first goal of the second period. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a shorthanded breakaway. I don't know, he just beat me clean on the shot. Um, that's one I want back for sure. In saying that, like, um, I think it was Jake Riley that scored it. It was, you know, really hard work on his part. Uh, good shot, but um, I feel like I could have stopped it. Fifth goal uh, was just, just a, just sucked. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know how else to say it. Played been in our zone for a little while, had a guy behind the net, passed it up to our guy that was on like the half wall, and it just went through that guy, hit the dasher, popped straight out um, to a guy that just was in like an Adelaide guy that was just in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. He saw the bounce off the boards and just wound up, slap shot over my glove. Usually I would say that's what I've got to have. Um, a shot from that far out, I should be saving. But the circumstances of that goal, I was a bit frustrated after that one, um, I've got to admit, but uh, I don't think it really, you know, led to any goals or anything like that. I'm pretty good at you know, cool myself off. I get frustrated for a, for a second and then I just kind of, you know, nip it in the butt and um, I was able to do that. And then into the third period, I really needed to shut it down, um, you know, or it could have really gone off the rails and, and, and give the boys a chance um, to come back a bit. And I felt like I did that in the third period. I felt like I was really solid. I find it hard to get my head around sometimes when I feel like I play a good game, but then, you know, I'm letting in five goals on, I think it was about 38 shots. And I know that save percentage isn't a reflection of how you play. Uh, it's very much what situations were you in, um, where were the shots coming from, were they high danger shots, were they off rebounds, did the puck cross the middle of the ice, like the, the Royal Road, did the player cross that line, um, leading to the leading to the shot that scored, but it's still it's still tough, like we've got to win games, we've really got to win games. I think it's just because I, I, you know, I, I love the team, I love, I love the boys, I want to give them a, a chance to win every night. Some nights you, you kind of feel like you do everything you can and you're still, um, you know, giving, giving your team a pretty, pretty big mountain to climb. We're really keen to get back on the ice, we're really keen to play this team again tomorrow. Um, we know that we can play better, uh, we proved it to ourselves in the third period. I think we're going to come out with, um, with a bit of a different mindset, maybe a little bit more hunger. Uh, than we did at the start of this game. We're really needing to do that. Uh, you know, we've still, we're still behind in the standings, so we've got to get some wins and get some points and, um, and creep up into that third spot. But anyway, I'm gonna brush my teeth, have a shower and hit the hay. So um, I'll see you for breakfast in the morning. Small five times a day to get a positive energy every day. That's not fortune, that's like a dude. <laughs> it's alright, eh? I don't think that makes sense. No. <laughs> Never look back.